Hey everybody, working on some new automation tricks. I've got a couple videos in the works this week about automation. Uh, and today I just uh, thought about this way of working with automation that I hadn't seen anybody else doing. I'm sure somebody else is doing this because everybody's doing something like this, uh, you know, differently in logic. Uh, but I found a way to really easily send uh, our modulator MIDI data into audio tracks. So you can see I've got this uh, modulator oscillating here with the LFO. And now down here in my audio track, I've got that happening with volume. I turned around to see the things I never had. I feel. And so you can see. I just use the modulator to write all of this automation data into the track. So let me explain how this works. Um, it was actually kind of a, a random workaround. I was trying to get this data in. I've got this track, which is called Automation Send. I just named it that. I've got the modulator loaded onto that. And I'm using the external instrument, which you can come down here to your utility in your instrument list and go to external instrument. And then I'm just sending out that data on IAC driver bus number one uh, on MIDI channel one. So if you don't know what the IAC driver is, it's part of your operating system. It's not part of logic. And uh, it's this little device here in our MIDI studio. And I got to that. Um, you can go to the launch pad and get in there through the other category. There it is. I just have it pulled into my dock. And then you just want to make sure that this thing is turned on. So the IAC driver should be turned on. That is like this highway between all of your different apps. So I could send MIDI from Logic into Pro Tools or Ableton or FL, whatever, um, through the IAC driver. But I can also send it from Logic into Logic. So that's what I'm doing here with the external instrument. Now that I had that selected, up here in the modulator, I just chose an output. I'm using one of the general... Uh, purpose continuous controllers and um, so I just chose 18 you'll see that it stops because it was on 17 and that's where I come up here and enable automation quick access and then I'm going to do the automation preferences below that and I'm going to come down to the bottom and say I want you to learn message make sure nothing else is playing or coming in from anywhere learn the message and then turn that off and now Whatever I have selected here is going to be sending out data. Now, the thing about the automation quick access, let's see. Feel the changes everywhere in the air. Looks like it just froze up here for a second. Uh, the thing about automation quick access, there it goes, is that it affects whichever automation is open on any selected track. So right now volume is selected. You feel the change, it looks so sad. But I could easily come down and be like, um, let's do, well, let's load up on this track an EQ, right? And um, I want to do a little bit of gain. And let's do, let's just disable this for a second while I prep this up. Because every time I select something here, it's going to be changing uh, down whatever is visible. So now I've got this gained up a little bit. We're going to narrow the cue on it. And I'm going to select the frequency. And then that's what is now currently visible here. So I can come through and say, enable automation quick access. And now that EQ is going to fly all over the place. So Find our common ground, ground in the 
trenches too You bring me joy and to my knees And now As you can see how much data is being written as I went into the super fast mode but anything that we can choose here, so I could come down now and say, you know what, I want to do this for, uh, you know, the peak three frequency. And I switch over to that. I know that I know is real, that this is real. real enough for me. But is this real but enough for you? Real enough for you? Close enough or if you just want like some really simple shapes here, uh, then we can do something a lot slower. Let's do eighth notes, just like this. Too true. And now I know and that now this I is know us. that this is us. real enough for life. And then when we're all done, we can just put this into read mode and we'll turn back off the automation quick access. And now you might say, well, you know, what happens if I wanted this automation on a different part of my track? Just hold the command key while you're going to a different view here. So say you're like, ooh, I put it on peak four, but I really want it on peak two. Then it's going to say, uh, do you want to convert or copy? I'm just going to convert this over. So now this is on peak two instead of peak four. Uh, or I can copy all of this data and put it onto a different track and then assign it using the same command key to move it between different parameters. So this is a, a nice way to be able to get at least access very easily to the modulator data for any of our tracks on any of our automation things. So we load up the uh, modulator on an instrument track using the external instrument uh, to IAC. Then when that's running, we go to our automation preferences, we learn the message, and then we open up automation mode, which I didn't think I said, but you push A to open up your automation mode, select the destination track, select the parameter you want to automate, and then it's going to automate that parameter. So uh, super, I think it's actually pretty easy once you get into it and get used to it. Maybe the very first couple times you do it, you're gonna have to do a little mind meld but um, a great way to have access to our modulator on any track and any parameter. Uh, you just have to write it into your track using the automation, uh, well, touch or write mode, and then you'll have that automation on that track. Okay, a lot of information. I'm going to be doing a video later, a little later this week about uh, my five top automation tricks. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Otherwise, um, hope you're having a great week.